Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to add multi-factor authentications in our AWS console. So here I am going to sign in in the console. So here I provide my email address and my password. So here you can see that is uh, it asked me for the MFA code, multi-factor authentication code. So after the code input, it only navigate to me the AWS console. So I am putting here the MFA code using my Google Authenticator and click on submit. So you can see that it is authenticated and navigate me to AWS console. So what is MFA and what the purpose of use of MFA in AWS console? So MFA is a multi-factor authentication. So that would add a extra layer of security to your applications or to your AWS console. So that if someone has uh, know about your credentials, but without providing the MFA code, he can't able to access your account. So that's the reason we need to add the MFA. So though I have added already MFA, so I am removing that MFA. And in this video, I am sharing how we can add from scratch. So here in IM, so IM is basically uh, identity access management that is used for to uh, creating user roles and groups, etc. that we uh, cover in our next upcoming videos. So here you can see that the MFA has been already added. So I need to remove this and uh, I will add a new one. So in my security credentials, the MFA is there. So I just remove it. You can see now the MFA device is deleted and uh, I don't have any MFA is assigned. So if I go uh, for the sign out and if I come to the sign in into the console again. So after the password, you can see it is not asking me to the MFA, it directly navigating to the consoles. So we need to have add one MFA into our AWS console. So you should need to have a authenticator app in your mobile. Either you are using Android or iOS. So accordingly, you can download the Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator, whatever you choice. For me, it is I am using the Google Authenticator. So to add MFA, we need to go to the IM or you can search simply here as IM. And click here. So in the IAM management console, you can see that there is no MFA is for the root user. So I'll add here, add MFA. And here uh, it is asking for the device name. If you are using the Google or Microsoft accordingly, you can put your name. So for me, I am put here as Google. And there is multiple way of authenticator, authenticator app, security key and hardware token. So we are using the authenticator app. So let it be and click on next. And here uh, we need to have scan that QR in our mobile authenticator app. So in the QR code, just click it. So open your Google authenticator app in your mobile. And on the below, there is a plus symbol. So just click it and scan the QR code. And after scanning, you can see in your mobile device in Google authenticator, so the Amazon Web Services section is there. So there is a code is running and in every one minute the code is randomly uh, generate the six digit code. So here we need to add the two MFA code that uh, it created in your Google Authenticator of, for the Amazon. So here I'm putting value. So the first MFA code I have put and you can just refresh your Google Authenticator have then the second MFA code you can put here then click on add MFA so now you can see that the MFA has been configured so to check that so go to the sign out screen and login again in your console So now you can see that it is asking me for the MFA code. So once you put the MFA code according to your Google Authenticator app, so then only it will navigate to me the AWS console. So this is the extra layer for authentication of your AWS console account. 
so you must use the uh, mfa for your aws console for the security purpose so that's it in the video i hope it will help you to uh, add the mfa for your aws console account that's it in the video see you in the next video